In this short video, we're going to take a look at creating an ePortfolio using WordPress.com. So in our browser, we visit WordPress.com. WordPress.com is a hosted version of the WordPress content management system. It's a really popular way to create websites, ePortfolios and blogs. When you visit WordPress.com, you can create one of three different site types, a free site, a premium site or a business site. Basically, these different plans here offer you different features. When you're creating an ePortfolio, if you just need the basic features such as publishing posts and linking to media, the free site will suffice. If you want to host your own video, in other words, if you don't want to use YouTube or Vimeo, or for example, if you want to have your own themes or extra storage, you may want to consider the premium plan or the business plan. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to create an ePortfolio using the free plan. To get started, I'm going to click on the Create Website button here or the Sign Up option here on the menu. So when I click on Create Website, the first thing WordPress asks me is basically, what is the topic of my blog or my site? So in this case, I'm going to pick Education and Organizations. I'll then choose College Education. And I'll then be asked by WordPress, what type of homepage do I want? Now there are three options here at present. I can have a list of all of my posts, a welcome page, or a grid. Don't worry, you can always change the look and feel of your site at a later stage. But the choices that I make here basically constrain the types of themes that I can apply during setup. So for example, if I select a list of posts, I'm shown all of the different themes which are suitable to sites which just show lists of posts. If I want to go back by clicking on the back link here, I can change my mind and go for a welcome page. And now the themes are shown that have welcome pages, in other words, large banners or carousels. I can go back and if I want to, I can have a grid. So for example, if I'm a photographer or a graphic artist, I might want to show a gallery of my work on my portfolio page. So I can pick one of these themes here. There are lots of free and commercial themes that you can use on WordPress.com, but I'm going to start off using a simple ePortfolio with a list of posts, and I'm going to pick a very simple theme here. So in this case, I'm just going to scroll to the themes here, and I like the look of this theme, so I'll select it. The next thing that WordPress asks me to do is pick a name, a domain name for my site. So in this case, I'm just going to put in my name. You could put in anything that you like and WordPress will check to see if you can use the main names on WordPress.com or it might suggest that you upgrade and it will register a domain name for you. So in this case, it's offering me a whole range of different uh, domain names. Um, if I already own the domain, I can also upgrade and link it. But in order to do that, I need to have access to WordPress Premium, which you know, at $8.25 a month, it's, it's quite good, but in this case, I don't need it. I'm going to be perfectly happy with Daniel McSweeney blog.wordpress.com. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the select button. It will then ask me to confirm which plan I want to sign up for. And I'm going to choose the free plan for my ePortfolio. The last step during setup, it will ask me for my email, a password, which you really definitely should change. Um, oh, sorry, a username and a password. So your email address that you can use to recover your account, uh, a username that you're going to remember, and a safe and secure password. So I'm going to go ahead now and create my blog. And in the next video, we'll look at how we administer the blog from the back end. So creating a blog or an ePortfolio in WordPress is only a couple of simple steps. It's free and it's easy to do. And in the following videos, we can see how we can add content to our ePortfolio or blog.